The topic is retrospective review of surgical outcomes of combined gonioscopic assisted transluminal trabeculotomy or GAT with phaco emulsification and IOL implantation in South Indian population. I'm Dr. Liji Joy, doing fellowship in Arvind Hospital, Coimbatore. Um, in an idea, in a search for a minimally invasive and conjunctival sparing procedure to treat glaucoma, um, R. Kelman and associate has int had introduced a 360-degree ab internal uh, trabeculotomy. Um, um, Dr. Grover et al. and associates have uh, introduced in 2014 GAT, which is gonioscopic assisted transluminal trabeculotomy, where the trabecular meshwork is ripped open 360 degree uh, and uh, the aqueous is directed straight into the SLEMS canal, uh, bypassing the trabecular meshwork. So the aim of our study was to evaluate the success and complication rate of GAT combined with phaco emulsification and IOL implantation uh, in South Indian population. This is a retrospective case series uh, in including 13 eyes of 10 patients who had a minimum follow-up of 3 months. Uh, we have examined the best character visual acuity. Uh, slit, lamp, slit lamp examination was done for all the patients. IOP was measured with GAT. A uh, number of AGMs were noted preoperatively and postoperatively in each follow-up visits. Gonioscopy were done for uh, all the patients and uh, fields were done uh, for patients with 24-2 HFA. Um, and uh, we have excluded uh, patients who were on uh, anticoagulants and who are uh, non-hypertensives. Uh, after completing um, phaco emulsification and IOL implantation, the anterior chamber was filled with viscoelastic uh, and uh, uh, um, catheter, uh, um, in horizontal incision was made at the nasal ankle uh, and at the level of trabecular meshwork and through that opening, uh, physeroplodine suture was introduced and uh, by giving repeated strokes, the 360 degree uh, slim canal canalization was done and uh, when the the, the leading um, edge of the suture was directed uh, through the SLEMS canal uh, and when the trailing haptic was out through the opening, um, both the ends were grasped with forceps and the trailing haptic was uh, pulled so that the SLEMS canal, inner wall of the SLEMS canal is open 360 degree and uh, aqueous can flow directly into the SLEMS canal and the viscoelastic uh, was washed at the end of the surgery. We have defined uh, complete success as, as an intraocular pressure of less than or equal to 15 millimeters of mercury without any glaucoma medication and a qualified success as intraocular pressure of less, uh, less than 18 millimeters of mercury with or without medication. Intraocular pressure of less than 6, that is hypotony, um, more than 18 millimeters of mercury, um, uh, end of thalmitis or light perception were considered failures. We had 13 eyes of 10 patients of it 50 percentage were men and 50 were female. Um, the mean age of the population was around 60 years um, and axial length was uh, in the normal range like average axial length was 23. Uh, coming to the diagnosis of uh, um, uh, patients included, six of them were POEG patients, uh, one with ocular hypertension, uh, two with PXF uh, glaucoma, three uh, primary ankle closure glaucomas and one secondary glaucoma. Coming to the results. Um, the mean preoperative intraocular pressure was 21 millimeter of mercury with an average uh, 2.5 AGM preoperatively. At each, at every follow-up visits, the intraocular pressure has reduced significantly. Uh, we had all the patients follow up uh, till six months. So at the end of six months, we had um, an intraocular pressure of 13.4, 13 13.5 millimeter of mercury um, with a um, AGM of 0.07. And visual acuity, um, it, uh, visual acuity improved significantly at all uh, follow-up visit and it was maintained throughout. Um, coming to Kaplan-Meier survival plot, uh, at six months when where, where, where we had uh, all patients who had followed up till six months, we had a 100 percentage success rate at the end of six months. And one eye alone had an intraocular pressure of 20 millimeter of mercury at the end of nine months and was started on a single AGM. Um, we have done a literature search and uh, uh, previous studies had a comparable result. Um, the success rate of combined surgery ranged from 45 to 66 percentage in the previous study uh, at the end of six months and we had um, an IOP reduction. IOP reduction of uh, 48 to 66 percentage at the end of six months in previous study and our study we had 56 percentage uh, IOP reduction at six months and um, previous study had a 95 percentage success rate at the end of six months and we had 100 percentage at six month um, follow-up. 
coming to complication, uh, no, ma uh, no major vision threatening complication were noted in any of our um, eyes. The most common complication was hyphema, which was greed one and, uh, um, and self-limiting. And one eye alone had a transient intraocular pressure rise uh, at the end of one month, um, most probably because of the steroid response. Um, so to conclude, the short-term study shows that a GAT combined with phaco emulsification and IOL implantation is an effective and vision-improving procedure, not only for primary open-angle glaucomas, but also for secondary and uh, secondary and angle closures. Um, but studies with long-term follow-ups and uh, uh, the, the one which is looking into the endothelial uh, cell loss is required in future for long-term results. Thank you. Yes, Uh, sir, it was the the question is uh, because they are recording the session. They want there is no mic, so the question is that uh, you did the surgery yes. on a one patient with ocular hypertension. What was the pressure in that? It patient? was forty, sir, uh, and the patient had significant cataract also. So when we are when when we were explaining the patient, patient was ready to undergo a combined procedure in uh, that eye. It was an open angle, sir. So lens induced angle closure was not there. We are doing it, sir. We are doing. We have 18 months data now, uh, but we have some loss to follow up also, and we are um, following it up, uh, following these patients more, like almost one and a half years, two years now. Thank you, Dr. Lijay. I think. Uh, thank you. Thank